Good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to be covering the theme of the something in between mindset. And what that basically means is that we are getting out of that all or nothing mindset that a lot of us have. So here's how I think we can get out of that mindset and get back into this something in between mindset where you're basically accepting that you're doing something and not everything. I think you have to think of it from a logical perspective and just do the numbers. So let's think um, as far as people who are in this all or nothing mindset, they think they have to go 100%, they go from zero to 100 by the way, they have to go 100% and if they screw up or miss a workout, they have to quit. Okay, so I'm just talking about workouts, but this could go for nutrition or any other healthy habit. So first of all, you're being hard on yourself and you're not being realistic with yourself if you think that you can go from zero to 100 with no failure, no mistakes, no days off. Okay, so let's say we have two people. We have somebody who has this something mindset, eh, as long as they do something, that's good. Um, or the person with the all or nothing mindset that's like, I have to go five days a week, an hour a day. And <clears throat> as soon as they do a week, they either get burnt out because they push themselves too hard that week or they feel like a failure because they missed their sixth workout. So let's say they do that four times a year. So they, they go hard five times a week, four times a year, and they still end up giving up on themselves um, every single time. But they feel like that's the only way to make progress. Well, okay, they did that four times a year. So five workouts, four times a year, that's 20 workouts, okay? Um, so we're going to compare that to person B who has the as long as I do something mindset. Um, let's say they, they just commit to working out one day a week for the whole year. Well, there's 52 weeks in a year. So if you do the math, person B gets 52 workouts in that year versus person A who only does 20, but makes it hard on themselves. It's not enjoyable. They're pushing themselves too hard and they're in this. I need to be perfect mindset. Well, I'm going with person B. I don't know about you, but I think that if you go slow and steady, you do win the race. And if you put your mind to just making a habit of something, whether it's super easy or just something you do once a week, I think you're going to be more successful with that. And even if you start out with once a week, if you build that habit over the course of you know a month or a few months, then you might have a realistic mindset of, you know what, I can fit in this second day a week and I can start doing twice a week. And if you miss one, you can make it up because you don't have only five days a week that you're free to do this. Like if you have the five days a week mindset, like where are you going to squeeze in that missed workout? Now I personally do five days a week, but I, I'm a personal trainer, so of course I make it work. <laughs> Um, but I also, if I miss a day, I just make it up on the weekend. I don't just give up on myself. And if I, if I don't make it up and I do four days a week, no big deal for me, right? Because I know I'll just pick it up next week. But not everybody has that mindset or that discipline. So I hope you learned something from this message. Just stop like putting yourself in this position where you're not being nice to yourself. So... In order to be nice to yourself, you have to set healthy, realistic goals for yourself. And, and, it, has to, and it has to be something that you really believe that you can do um, or that you really have time for. So anyway, I hope that you learned something really, really useful from this. Always think logically if you can, because sometimes our minds don't think logically. So we, if we're going based on emotion, that's not always the best way. So have a great week.